We're joined by CSU Bakersfield head coach Rod Barnes and student athletes Jalen Arrington and Ali Ahmed. Coach, can you just start with an opening statement? Oh, sorry. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to give Chicago State some credit. Uh, their kids really fought hard, uh, really battled. I'm proud of Coach Deal to have his team show up and play with that kind of intensity and play with that kind of hunger to get the game because. Uh, they have every reason to just pack it in and go home, and they didn't. I'm thankful to God for these guys I have on my team. Didn't think we really were really good the first half. Um, I thought we stayed there. Uh, fought down the stretch. Our veterans really stepped up for us, and something I kind of expected. And uh, we just got to get prepared and move on to the next game. Questions? Uh, Coach, just talk a little bit about it. It looked like it wasn't your best effort, but uh, obviously solid enough to win, especially in the second half. Maybe what turned things around a little bit there when you started getting a little bit of a separation. It was. I mean, I told our guys, I mean, we're a good team when we play the way and do what we do. Uh, the way we play, we, we're not a team that's expecting to count, you know, blow people out early or take advantage of them early. It's just feel like we got the numbers. You know, we feel like our bench is as good as anybody's bench. And feel like we can go deep into our bench. And we did that tonight uh, with some guys. Just feel comfortable in, in doing that. Uh, early on, it's, it's always the postseason. It's a new season. Guys, I thought were a little tight, a little tense. But then they had a lot to do with it. We had to get them credit. They made some shots. And they made some plays. And coach did some things from an X's O because you know, it's a position that kind of put me in a tough position. I mean, it was time Ali was guarding a guard. And uh, that kind of put us in a tough situation. But uh, we changed the wind zone and our guys made the adjustment. But I thought the second half, the difference was we just played harder than we did the first half. Uh, Ali, just talk a little bit. <coughs> you know, you're used to getting doubled and everything else. Uh, they're not as big a team as you face, but just how your own way you would handle the game, your own approach to the game tonight? Uh, it's a good advantage, you know, they, they're not as big as me, but it's also a bad for, for the defense at the end, you know, like Coach said, I have to guard him like of the three and he's much quicker than me, but, but what we try to do, we play zone more than we played man, so we kind of covered it up a little bit. And I mean, in the offense, and we, we, we had like a lot of looks inside, which kept me going, or kept all the guys going. Jalen and, and Matt, a lot of guys had N1 and went to, all the way to the rim, you know? Uh, so I think the whole team, we were bigger than them. We were, we were more athletic than them. So we had this advantage in defense and offense. Just the mismatch would, it would be the only one as me. <laughs> I was just the biggest one over there. But Jay, when you start, just your own game, you know, tonight, the, when you, you got a little bit into the flow a little bit, just talk about yeah, especially in the second half. Um, I just want to do the little things for the guys, you know, dive on the floor, rebound. You know. Just want to be a scrappy guy, you know, lift everybody up. Did they surprise you how intense Chicago State played? Uh, you knew if you coming in, they lost 18 games in a row. They only won four games all year. Jalen, I guess I'll direct this to you. Just, were you surprised that they gave you a game there for at least, for at least half the game? I don't know. It's basketball. It's a game of runs. Like Coach said, um, he coached their former coach. So um, they, they just like us. They come out, play hard, they don't give up, and uh, they play to the buzzer. Got to get one in here, Jeff. Uh, guys, Coach said maybe there's a little tightness early. What Did you guys feel any of that tightness or, or maybe being in a new environment or, or the one-and-done situation, even though we, you expected to win? Was there any of that early on where, where maybe you played uh, yeah. not how you're used to yeah, I mean, we, 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 we didn't start as we wanted to. And it's, it's the first game of the tournament, and a lot of the guys, half of the team, is the first time for them in here. And the whole tournament and the pressure and all of this situation, you know, it's it, it good to your head. But once you pick it up, you just put it aside and just start playing however we play. And we, we showed us, we showed you guys, like, who we are in the second half. You know, it's just, we, we took us 20 minutes, but... Next game, I don't think it should take us this much, you know. We're going to be prepared, yeah.
Coach, is that the expectation that you come to a tournament like this and it takes a little while to get into the flow and to feel your game and that by game two, you should hopefully be where you'd like to be? Well, I mean, if you look at our stat sheet, guys that are returning, guys that have been here, uh, this is the two guys that are here. Uh, Matt Smith, who was here with us last year but didn't play, I expected those guys to be able to handle this situation. I mean, uh, there was a lot of expectation that you know we put on ourselves, and it's a lot of expectation that people have on us. I mean, we're the number two seed, so there's no expectation for us to lose the first round game. But uh, I've expected that. I mean, I expected you know some of the new guys and young guys, which they're in the middle of what we don't. I mean. Damien used the plays better. Deidre Basil used the play better. But they got off to really tough starts. But that's to be expected. But we, uh, you know, if you can tell, we went to Ali a lot. And then after they started to close things, we went to Jalen a lot. So then we, you know, we got that kind of experience, the guys that have been here. And so we rode those guys until we could separate. You know, once when we separated, we just, you know, had to close the game. But, uh, I wasn't ever worried. I mean, I even told the guys at halftime, concerned that we weren't playing well just because I want to play well. But no, not so much as far as we come out the second half. I mean, I told our guys at halftime, you know, I mean, this is this is postseason. I mean, you know, it's it's that's to be expected. It's a new season. It's zero zero. Everybody think they, you know, going to win and everybody's going to make bets. So you can expect that. I mean, I think we'll be better tomorrow, but. Even if we don't start out well tomorrow, I, mean, I feel comfortable that this team has enough confidence in themselves, and confidence in what we do, that as the game goes on, uh, you know, we'll play well. But you got new guys, first time guys in the conference tournament. Uh, you got to have some guys not play up to what they normally have. Well, Coach, we've been here for the last two years, and then tomorrow it would be a more somber news conference with, with us yeah. here. Talk about addressing that semifinal hump and what you guys got to do to get over it. Well, we got we really got to come out and play well. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, anytime you go to the semifinals, it doesn't matter who you're playing against. You're talking about the f top four teams probably in the league. So uh, that's, you know, my expectation, I told a lot of guys, which we are, we're not here to finish second. I mean, I, I don't know how to address it, how to fix it up, how to whatever, you know. We left here last year saying, when we get back this time, we're going to finish the business. And it doesn't matter who we play, what time we play. I mean, we've been talking about this. I mean, this is, that's why I think we've handled this situation well. Even tonight, I think we were really playing well in the first half. But then I said, we, we were tight, but I, I never saw panic, you know, pressure in our guys. I mean, this is something that we've been working for, something that we've been believing that we can do. So. We're going to come out tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll figure out a way to win the game. and We'll move to the finals. But we didn't come here just to, to get to the finals. You know, We haven't been there, but we didn't come here for that. We came here to win the tournament. And uh, whatever we got to do, uh, that's what we got to do. Any other questions? Most of our fans would expect us to win the tournament. So they didn't follow us over here to win the semifinal game. So. I guess this is way, you know, and, and I've been saying this all year. It's not bragging or boasting. Mm -hmm. It's because these guys have put in the work. And uh, we left here last year with a bitter taste in our mouth that what, about two minutes ago we had a chance to advance to the finals, and we did. Yes, we want to get to the finals because we haven't been there, but we're not going to be just happy playing in the championship game. Any other questions? Thank you guys. Thank you guys.